So the blue light sleep narrative was falling apart, and with it, Matthew Walker soon abandoned his previous stance on screen light. We used to think it was the blue light from tablets and screens. The research that made Matthew Walker change his mind came from Dr. Michael Gratizar, another sleep researcher we were fortunate enough to talk to and to learn a lot from. In my book some years ago, I was more than declarative how the light from screens was the main problem when it comes to sleep. The more I read about the studies that were failing to find sleep changes, and then the more I read Michael Gradazar's epic work on this, this hypothesis of sleep disruption does not hold up. So we did a review looking at all the different mechanisms when it comes to screens and sleep. If you give someone a screen that is emitting blue light in the hour or hours before bed, we don't see, you could even say, significant extension to the time taken to fall asleep. If we averaged all of those studies, there was about 11 in our review. You're only talking about a few minutes longer. In the context of things, that's, that's not enough. See how all the pieces of this blue light blocking story fit together in the complete documentary, live right now on our channel.